Hey guys, it's Charlie Kirkpatrick here, and today we are going to talk about wikis. And, well, why are you interested in a wiki? Well, first of all, you will find a large preponderance of wikis out in the business world, right? And businesses use uh, wikis to uh, record uh, what you would call tacit knowledge within their uh, companies. It's used a lot for project management, uh, as a project management tool to put project notes, meeting minutes, things of that nature, uh, departmental knowledge bases, and uh, you also find it used uh, quite a bit in the process for developing help content. A lot of the refinement and processing of help content is done in a wiki before it's finalized and put out to the public website as a help article for a certain company. So, and there's lots of other reasons why you might want to use a wiki, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're just going to cover the basics of, of creating a wiki within Blackboard, and, and then we'll create a page or two. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So, first of all, you, you're in Blackboard, and you, uh, on the left-hand side, you'll see uh, the, the wiki link. And at this point, you're in your wiki. We're, gonna, we're just going to start from scratch here, create a new wiki. So, click on Create Wiki. Let's give our wiki a name. Uh, this, we're going to call this uh, Demo uh, 3. And, uh, okay. And we're going to make it available and all of this good stuff. And we'll hit Submit. We'll just take all the defaults here. So, there's our Demo 3 wiki, as you can see. Let's click on that. And the first thing that it asks you to do is to create your initial wiki page. And we're just going to call this the uh, introduction page. Okay. And uh, we're going to give it here. We are in the editor now. And there's some basic functions here that we'll go over in a little later video. But, uh, but nonetheless, let's just give it a, a uh, heading here of introduction page. And we're going to add some uh, content. We'll go here. Okay, and we're going to add a table of contents in this one. Table of contents. Okay, now I want to give my introduction page, I want to make this a header item, so I'm going to bold it and I'm going to give it a 36 point font. And I have my content here, and now my table of contents, which is going to be the links to the other pages, is going to go here, and I'm going to give this a uh, I'm going to bold this and underscore it, and uh, I'll make this a 24-point font, okay? You hit Submit, and just like that, you have created your first wiki page. Now, let's create another page and link it to our introduction page, okay? So, click on Create Wiki Page again, and uh, we're going to call this Linked Page 1. Okay, and uh, page one. Okay, and uh, we'll have some more content. We'll go here, and let's be consistent. We're going to make this a uh, bold and 36 point font here, and I'm going to hit submit. So now I have two pages. Now I have my introduction page over here on the right hand side, and then linked page one. So over here on the right hand side, I'm going to click on introduction page again, go back to my intro page, click edit wiki content here, and then I'm going to go here under table of contents, because this is where I want to put all of the links to all of my pages. You know, imagine you're looking at a book and there's chapter one, chapter two, etc., etc., etc. So here I'm going to put a link to my linked page one. So with all of these buttons here, this little button right here on the far right, um, I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to call it a zipper button because I think it looks like a zipper. Uh, when you click on that, up will pop a list of all of your pages. Now, if you've got uh, 100 other pages, there will be a list of 100 pages here. But since we only have one, there's one, obviously. And uh, if you want, you can rename the wiki page here. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to rename it to Chapter 1 and hit Submit. You can see the link is built there, and then I'm going to hit Submit again on my intro page. There's my intro page. I click on Chapter 1, and this goes to my linked page 1. So just like that, you've created a wiki, you have created an introduction page, and then a second page to link to your introduction page. 
And guys, those are really the fundamentals for how a wiki works. If you know this, there's a good chance that any wikis, most of the wikis that you work with in private practice are going to behave the same exact way, or pretty darn close anyway. Close enough. So with that, we'll conclude our uh, lesson for today, and I hope you enjoy it.